in the gentle warmth of the same tea house, Clara and James once again found themselves by their favorite window. The view of the tranquil garden, with its delicate blossoms swaying in the breeze, set the perfect tone for another deep discussion. This time, their conversation would delve into a more complex and often challenging aspect of friendship, navigating differences and resolving conflicts. James, after our last conversation, I've been thinking about how, despite our best efforts, conflicts can still arise in friendships. Even with consistent communication and mutual respect, we're bound to encounter differences. What do you think is the best approach to handle conflicts and maintain a strong friendship? That's a great point, Clara. Conflicts are inevitable, but I believe the key lies in how we address them. A successful friendship doesn't mean avoiding conflicts, but rather learning to resolve them in a way that strengthens the bond. What do you think is the most effective method for resolving conflicts in a friendship? I think the best method is open and honest communication. When we confront issues directly and with sincerity, we can address misunderstandings before they escalate. Question, James, what do you think is the most effective method for resolving conflicts in a friendship? A. Open and honest communication. B. Giving each other space and time. C. Seeking common ground and compromise. Answer. A. Open and honest communication. James, I believe that open and honest communication, option A, is the most effective way to resolve conflicts. By addressing issues directly and without judgment, we can clear up misunderstandings and prevent them from damaging the friendship. I agree, Clara. Clear and honest communication allows friends to express their feelings and concerns without fear of judgment. It's essential for resolving issues and maintaining the trust we've built. Exactly. When we communicate openly, we can better understand each other's perspectives and work together to find a resolution that strengthens our bond. As they continued, Clara and James discussed different scenarios where communication had helped them resolve conflicts with friends. They shared personal experiences of how addressing issues directly had not only resolved misunderstandings but also deepened their connections. Clara, while open communication is vital, I think it's also important to recognize when to give each other space. Sometimes, Taking a step back can provide clarity and prevent emotions from running too high. What are your thoughts on giving each other space during conflicts? Question. Clara, how do you think giving each other space and time during conflicts can benefit a friendship? A. It allows emotions to settle leading to a more rational discussion. B. It gives both parties time to reflect on the issue. C. It prevents the situation from escalating further. Answer. A. It allows emotions to settle, leading to a more rational discussion. James. I believe that giving each other space and time during conflicts can benefit a friendship by allowing emotions to settle 
Option A. This cooling off period can lead to a more rational and constructive discussion when both parties are ready to address the issue. That's true, Clara. Sometimes, emotions can cloud our judgment, and taking a step back can help us approach the situation with a clearer mind. It's a way of respecting each other's need for space while still being committed to resolving the issue. Right. By giving each other space, we're not avoiding the conflict but rather ensuring that when we do address it, we're in a better state of mind to find a resolution. They shared examples of times when taking a break during a conflict had helped them approach the situation with a fresh perspective. This strategy had often prevented minor disagreements from turning into major rifts. James, another aspect of resolving conflicts is the willingness to seek common ground and compromise. I believe that friendships thrive when both parties are willing to meet halfway. How do you think compromise plays into resolving conflicts in friendships? Question, James, how do you think seeking common ground and compromise can help resolve conflicts in friendships? A. It fosters mutual understanding and respect. B. It ensures that both parties feel heard and valued. C. It strengthens the bond by showing a willingness to work together. Answer. B. It ensures that both parties feel heard and valued. Clara. I think that seeking common ground and compromise, option B, is crucial because it ensures that both parties feel heard and valued. When friends are willing to compromise, it shows that they respect each other's perspectives and are committed to finding a solution that works for both. Absolutely, James. Compromise is about valuing the friendship more than the need to be right. It's about finding a middle ground where both parties feel satisfied and respected. Exactly. When both friends feel that their opinions and feelings are valued, it strengthens the bond and builds a foundation for future conflict resolution. Compromise shows a willingness to work together, which is essential for any lasting friendship. Their conversation continued, exploring the importance of compromise and the role it plays in maintaining strong, resilient friendships. They reflected on times when compromising had not only resolved conflicts but had also deepened their understanding and appreciation of each other. As the afternoon sun cast a warm glow over the garden, Clara and James felt a deeper connection with each other and a renewed commitment to nurturing their friendships. They realized that while conflicts are a natural part of any relationship, the way they choose to address and resolve these conflicts defines the strength and longevity of their friendships. As the tea house began to fill with the golden light of sunset, Clara and James left with a deeper understanding of how to navigate the complexities of friendship confident in their ability to overcome challenges and continue building meaningful, lasting connections. Here are five additional words and phrases related to the theme of friendship in life, navigating differences. Conflict resolution. The process of resolving disagreements in a healthy and constructive manner. Open communication. 
being honest and transparent about one's feelings and concerns. Space and reflection, allowing time for emotions to settle before addressing a conflict. Compromise, finding a middle ground where both parties feel heard and valued. Mutual understanding, recognizing and respecting each other's perspectives in a friendship.